You're dropping the charges? Can she do that? No. She can't. Sure I can. Rupert, are you forgetting I own 50% of that store? And I say there was no break-in. <laughs> the, the law is not a stockholders meeting, Penny. Your 50% doesn't mean anything here. Actually, it does. It does? You a lawyer, little lady? I mean, when you're not busted into jewelry stores? I'm not a lawyer, but it sounds like Penny is disputing her father's account. That's exactly what I'm doing. So if this were to ever make it to court, there would be reasonable doubt. And we'll walk. Plus, they didn't even steal anything. And there was minimal damage. Which we're prepared to pay for. All right, already. You people are more trouble than it's worth. I'll go start filling out the paperwork. Thank you. Penny, we cannot express to you how much it means to us that you put yourself on the line like that for us. You can thank me later, after you've found your parents. Oh my god, you're right. I was just thinking of myself about what I wanted. I told myself that this was all just between Ford and me, that, that it had nothing to do with you and Cole. Or Marco. No. This was all about Marco, about letting him down easy, about not letting him get hurt. I convinced myself that I was protecting him, but in reality, I was just too scared to be straight with him. So if it makes you feel any better, I was lying to myself just as much as I was lying to you. Thanks, Dan. No, truth is, I knew exactly what Marco was gonna say. I just, I didn't want to face it. What exactly did he say? Everything. And he was right about all of it. I shouldn't have taken advantage of you and Cole. You should not have to put up with something that I did. I'm gonna make Marco understand that. Wait, now? No, I have to make things right, at least for you and Cole. Langston, you cannot go and talk to him right now. Why? I can't leave you guys on the hook. No, okay? You don't have to speak for Cole and me. Like it or not, we're a part of this too, okay? We're gonna have to take some hits. Yeah, I guess Marco probably wouldn't want to see me anyway. Packed up his stuff and he said he was moving out. He what? Yeah, but don't worry, because I'm gonna tell him not to go. I'll leave. Where? I mean, you're not gonna move in with Ford, are you? I can't believe I didn't even tell you. Ford doesn't want me either. I'm such an idiot. No, you're not. Yeah, did your girlfriend ever cheat on you with your teacher? Didn't think so. Look, they hid it from you. Hell, Layla and I live with the guy and he hid it from us. How could you have known? No, Ford didn't hide anything. He left me a million clues, that's how he gets off. He loved, he loved to rub it in my face without me even knowing it. God, he used to buddy up to me, tell me about this wild girl that he was getting it on with. Once, once I ran into him at the Palace Hotel, he told me he had this girl with him in his room, that he had her wrapped around his finger, he could make her do anything. <sighs> he was talking about Langston. She was there, she was hiding. In the same hotel, in the same room that she and I... God, that was our place. Now Ford wanted me to know. What kind of a person does that? I don't know, man. I hate that son of a bitch. When did this happen? I told you she didn't give me any details. Did Jesse say how much she remembered? She didn't say anything about that. No. Oh Jessie. my God, Jessica, Jessica. Baby, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm, <sighs> I'm better than fine. Especially now I don't have to take the calculus final. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, Bree is going to be so happy to see you. It is going to be so wonderful to have you back to normal. Well, I'm not quite back to normal yet. I still have a lot of amends to make. No, you don't. No, you don't. Everyone understands. That's what I've been trying to tell her. Grandma, why is everyone so loud? Oh, sweetheart, I'm sorry, but we're celebrating. Bobby's home. Yeah. Oh. Something wrong? Can, can you repeat that? Something wrong? No, you idiot. What you said before. 
I said, you belong with me. You look surprised. Yeah. Can you blame me? You know, I know I'm not exactly famous for my conversational skills, but... It doesn't mean... I don't have anything to say. It's just sometimes a little harder for me to say it. Well, you're in luck. Because you don't need to say another word.